Hey YouTube, as you know, I can't see patients anymore because of the pandemic. So much mahalos for supporting my career change to video game streaming. Now let's hit up the chat from some of my loyal subscribers. Lots of peeps asking me why I'm playing Puyo Puyo Tetris? Username Snorlax Lover says, Matthew, this doesn't seem like your kind of game. You don't play puzzle matching games. And username Rachel90 says, Why don't you clean up your apartment and make space so you can do telemedicine with your laptop? Whoa, sorry guys. When your channel gets popular, you just start attracting a lot of spam bots. One sec. Jimmy, how do I block people? Backstory. So about 30 years ago, my parents' house was getting termite treated. We moved a bunch of stuff to the middle of the living room so the workers could access the walls. This blocked access to the only TV in the house, which meant that I couldn't play video games. Even after the termite treatment was done, we didn't move stuff out of the living room for over a year. This drove me bananas, so my parents placated me by buying me a Game Gear, and my favorite game was Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, also known as Puyo Puyo. And because I'm the most sentimental and nostalgic fool you've ever met, I mean, come on, my name has Cheesy in it. 30 years later, I'm rockin' Puyo Puyo. Glad we got that all cleared up. New question in the chat from Rachel91. Why didn't you just clean your living room? Then you could have used your television and wouldn't have needed to buy anything. That's, uh... Jimmy, can you take care of this? So let's say that we have a patient in the nursing home who's having some dry skin because the soap that the nursing home uses is different than the stuff that she uses at home. We get called because she's itchy. So we prescribe some diphenhydramine. That makes her delirious and she starts telling the staff that she doesn't feel good and she's having pain everywhere. So we prescribe morphine, which makes her itchier. So obviously we need to continue the diphenhydramine. The morphine also makes her constipated which leads to urinary retention, so she develops a UTI, so we prescribe her ciprofloxacin, and then she develops C. diff diarrhea, so we start our- Medications have a lot of side effects, especially in geriatrics. Try to avoid the temptation of chasing after medication side effects with more medications, because we may end up hurting our patients and wasting money. This whole scenario could have potentially been avoided if we had taken the time to get a more holistic view and suggested a moisturizer rather than diphenhydramine. Okay, we got time for one more question. Rachel92 says, Stop playing video games and do your chores. Jimmy, how do I disable chat? Malcolm, how interesting. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Magnificent. Gravity was my ally. <laughs>